Hey guys, check this out. I had a, a job interview today in Dayton, and uh, so I figured while I was up there, I would just stop at Rite Aid. Uh, no plan. Um, I tried to see if there was any videos, was there was something that would um, I could just uh, start out with or whatever. And then I just made my mind up that you know I don't go to Dayton enough to. Um, even try to worry about getting the wellness points and all that stuff. As you can see, mine are zero. <laughs> so um, what I did get, they have 40% off on the physician's formula there. And, of course, I'm getting a new product because I got this one here from CVS. This is the bronzer and this is the blush. And I think it was, and it was, uh, for, from them, this blush was eleven ninety five, and then it was forty percent off, so it came to seven seventeen. And then they had three dollar peelies on them, and so I used that. So I ended up paying four dollars for this blush, and I'm good with that because uh, eleven at that store, and it probably was fourteen at CVS or something. So to get it for four dollars is just fine. Um, so I um, I just went on with that, but let me tell you, uh, the interview. Um, everybody's using all this little trickery stuff, and they word everything so different, and they make you think like that it's about the job you're looking for, or you know, um, the positions that you're used to having, and uh, what's in your field. And then you get there, and it's a whole different thing, and I'm so mad about that. Um, this one here is selling AT&T uh, time or, or their product, the uh, cable, satellite, insurance, uh, not insurance, but um, uh, cell phone, all of that. That's what they were about. But they, re they worded it, it like they were looking for a, an office manager. And they're not looking for an office manager. They're looking for an account manager to uh, try to make some sales and all of that. And I just was like, oh, my goodness. Like, I was an interview nightmare. Like, seriously, I, I just feel like you lied to me. Just go ahead and say it's sales and what have you. And, uh, you know, so you can get the true person that you're really looking for instead of tricking people and wasting people's time. And uh, my car to gas is four dollars and fourteen cent a gallon, and here I've used out a, a fourth of a tank of gas on some bull crap. You know, I just want to tell dude, like, look, <laughs> you owe me gas money. <laughs> now, mind you, I know the process of going to the interviews and all of that, and the shutdown, the no's, the yeses, all the ins and outs of that. But also, uh, tr the trickery is just not necessary. It's just not. So after I left there, I decided I'm already in Dayton. Let's go to Rite Aid. So I, I go to Rite Aid, and um, I'm in there like there's nothing in there, I, nothing I wanted. I didn't. I needed a plan. I, you know what's really for sale or what have you. I don't know. I was just like, well, just forget it. So I just kind of walked around and looked and, and I didn't have any um, up rewards so if you don't have any up rewards you sure as heck don't want to go in there and dump a lot of money and and don't have any rewards and, you know if I was going to live close and be or even work up there and then be able to go regular then of course you want to invest in your startup but um, I just kept it moving, y'all. I bought the one little item, plus I took the other three dollars so off of another one so I could use it at um, CVS. That helped me out, and that's what I did today. And I'm kind of on a little rant mode. And let me tell y'all, yes, I did go back last night and I got my um, order um, from uh, CVS. Yes, I did. I went back in, uh, not CVS, but uh, Target. I uh, went back last night, and let me tell you, all oh, so bad. All oh, was horrible. So the, those same two cashiers were still there, right? 
So I was like, oh, no, thinking, you know, my whole deal that I done came up with is going to be all busted up with them two still there. So what I did was the one lady that I know that always rings up and she just goes with all of it, doesn't matter. Uh, she rings it, it rings it up. Uh, she's and she's a, a line leader, whatever. But she just accepts everything. I, not not saying bad couponing, but she accepts what's supposed to be accepted. She doesn't fight you on needless things that are actually the right items. Now, if your coupon is wrong for the product, yeah, she's going to let you know, well, you didn't purchase that or what have you, because I've had that before. I have all these coupons in my hand and then don't get one of the items. Either they didn't have it or I forgot. And she said, you didn't purchase that, and no big deal. She don't fight you on something where you're sitting there with ketchup in your cart and you don't pay for it. And they're telling you, oh, you can't use the coupon on the ketchup. No, she's not that type of person. So it kept looking like I was going to have to be in line to cash out with that other lady. So I walked around a little bit, and then I let these other people get in front of me. And sure enough, they had coupons, too. We're sitting there talking. They're looking at my cart to see what I have. And, we're, you know, they're saying how horrible the two ladies were, at least the one for sure they knew of. This is so hilarious. So they go to her. I go to the good girl. I cash out no problem. Let me tell you. I, I'm gonna. I um. I'll put a picture in front of this video, and I'll try to put a picture at the end of the video, so I can show you exactly what I purchased last night. Those Neutrogena um, coupons, the five dollars off of two, those bought my meal for two days. So i You know, I'm always looking at how I can score some food, and those actually purchase. Uh, my meal, plus I end up getting free garlic bread as well. So I'm cashing out. I did two transactions. I cashed out both transactions. I hear them over there fighting with the lady with the Nivea coupon and also with the olive oil for the soap. And I am cracking up. So I leave out. I go to my car which is parked a little ways from the store door. I go to my car. I put my stuff in the car. I put my cart in the basket. You know, I'm killing time so I can go back and talk to these chicks. So I sit there for a few minutes, went over my receipt, and I decided I'm going to go ahead and go. I said, I must have missed them. And, you know, it was the end of the night. The store was closing, and I was trying to think, how? How could I have missed them? So... I take and start to leave out the driveway, and then I see they're still at the cash register. I was like, OMG. So I turn around when they were coming out the store. I'm like, what happened? They said they had to fight with her on every single coupon they had. I was like, oh, that's horrible. And they were ranting and waving and having a fit about the fact that, you know, they know the store coupon policy better than Target and better than the cashiers and the whole nine yards. I was cracking up because I was like, man, I just said all that stuff that they were saying earlier in the day. But needless to say, they did get their items, but they had to fight with her in order to make it happen. I went to the right person. I didn't have to fight with her. It just went down. I got my product. I'm going to show you the picture in the video and on the way out the door. Everything you're going to see in that picture, I paid $4.63 for it, and that's including two meals and free garlic bread, and then all the other stuff, makeup and everything, I paid uh four dollars and sixty three cent and that's two separate orders so i'm gonna put that picture at the video and thanks for watching my video thanks for listening to my rant and i'll be watching you watch me